Hi, me cuties. We're so excited to let you know that you can now binge our newest series, Influence, exclusively and ad-free on Wondery Plus. It's Meet Cute's modern adaptation of Jane Austen's Persuasion, and we know you're going to love it. Good morning, sleepyhead. Oh, good morning. Coffee? Oh, yes, thank you. I'm surprised you're up. Yeah, well, early bird gets the worm. It's 10.30. You got back pretty late, huh? Where is everyone today? What's going on? Well, it's Christmas, Susanica. Mom is in the barn, finishing an absurdly large centerpiece for the table. Oh, God. Imagine Noah's Ark, but with gnomes and goblins. I went out with RBG to help, but apparently my hot glue gun skills are subpar. Yep, there's no helping when she gets in that mode. Even the real Justice Ginsburg wouldn't be able to reason with her. Em genuinely believes Ruthie is RBG reincarnated. I just, I don't understand how you put up with her woo-woo stuff when you're so stubbornly rational. Opposites attract, I guess. Yeah. Anyway, once Mom pulled out the chainsaw, Ruthie and I both made a run for it. You know, I usually don't get it when people say she's intimidating, but when she takes out the power tools... Power tools are how she processes her feelings. Well, feelings don't interest her. Only facts. Listen, Mom's dedication to facts built her career and bought this house and got her a Pulitzer nomination. And cost her a marriage. Oh, Sam, that is not fair. Dad was only interested in his own feelings. It's just hard that the only way she can express her love is through building crazy shit in the barn. Well, at least we know where our tendency to deflect and avoid talking about our emotions comes from. Speak for yourself. (laughs) Oh, right, because arguing about religion isn't a way of avoiding your real issues with Max. My real issue with Max is that he's kind of an asshole. Hmm, where is the terrible trio? I haven't seen them yet. I think they're hiding. Oh, so, what's for breakfast? Mom made me promise I'd come get hurt when... Everyone, i.e. Max gets up so we can have pancakes. Oh, well, that's just perfect. More family time is exactly what we need this morning. Are you not going to tell me where you went last night? Who says I went somewhere? You stole my car. Well, I felt like I couldn't breathe. I had to get out. I get Max can be the absolute worst, but we can't just let him win by walking away. I mean, I don't really care about winning. I just... He takes up all the air in the room. I can't even with Luna. But she's just not with us. I mean, or anyone on this planet. When it's you, me, and Mom, it's so different. Like, apart from Mom's thing about how much I'm eating, which is exhausting, I feel like we have space to be ourselves. Luna and Max just suck up all the air. It's oppressive. I am oppressed by them. Excuse me, aren't you the one who's always going on about how people need to stop playing oppression Olympics? Yes, because I have the gold medal. No, I'm kidding. I have a clear analysis of my privilege. So, are you going to tell me where you went, or you'd rather keep rehashing last night's dinner drama? I'll take rehashing dinner drama for 100, thank you. So you're really going to make me guess? Weird sour cream guy from the store? Okay, listen. Turns out, he's not that weird. Or, no, he is, but also... Hot? (laughs) Yeah, I mean, we knew that already. Oh my god. So wait, you went to his house? Yes, just for a drink. It was... I don't know, it was actually really great, Sam. He's just... Noah, you like him! No, I don't... I don't know. I mean, yeah. Ugh, maybe. You're blushing. I haven't felt that comfortable with someone in a long time. Maybe ever. This is so exciting! No, I mean, ugh. Yeah, maybe. I don't know, but nothing is gonna come of it, which... Maybe is why I feel like I could just be myself, you know? Nothing to lose. But how often do you feel that way with someone? You can't dismiss that. He is really weird, but... I don't know, maybe in the same way I am? It feels kind of like there's nothing I can say that's gonna make him, you know, think I'm an idiot or hate me or whatever. So why are you saying nothing will come of it? I don't know, he's a few years older than me, and he's like a real professional grown-up, and... uh, Of course he's a lawyer, because who isn't? Anyway, he owns an apartment in the West Village. Meanwhile, I'm living with approximately 17 people in what is basically a flop house in Bushwick. So what I'm hearing is, you like him, he likes you, he happens to have a successful career, and is potentially very rich. So, the problem is... I don't know. I just 
feel like we're at such different stages of our lives. Like, how would that even work? Would I have to become a West Village gay? That ugh, sounds so expensive. You don't have to become anything. He obviously likes you. No offense, but he asked you out after you had gotten off that plane looking like a hot mess. He's already seen you at your worst, so you don't have to pretend to be any better than you are. Is this a pep talk or a roast? What I'm saying is, this is really great, Noah. Don't get in your own way. Uh, no, I know, I know, I know, I know. This is what I do. I get way ahead of myself and create all these problems that don't exist. I don't know, Sam. I mean, obviously it's scary to admit that maybe I do like him. I feel stupid even saying that out loud like we just met. So when are you going to see him again? We didn't really make a plan. You know, but we didn't plan last night either, so... Wait, so tell me more about what happened last night. Good morning! Or should I say, Shabbat Shalom? It's not Shabbat, so no, you shouldn't. Good morning. To be continued, Noah. There's no breakfast? No, actually, we're fasting today. Oh my gosh, is that a Hanukkah thing? I thought that was just for the sad holiday. Most Jewish holidays are sad holidays, Luna, so you're going to have to be a little more specific. No, we're not actually fasting, Luna. <laughs> I, no, I was just kidding. I tried intermittent fasting only because Tom Cruise does it for his Mission Impossible roles. Always a smart move to join anything Tom Cruise endorses. That's never ended badly for anyone. Okay, okay, I know what you're getting at. But the thing people don't understand about Scientology is no, the money no, that you make. No, no, no Scientology until after I finished at least my first cup of coffee. I agree. No religious talk before breakfast. But Scientology isn't even a religion. It's an abusive misogynistic pyramid scheme cult. Oh my god, Sam, please. Okay, okay, sorry. Seriously, what's the deal with breakfast? You know... You could make breakfast. This isn't a hotel. I figured that Mom might have had something planned. I don't want to step on any toes. How considerate of you. I'm happy to cook. <laughs> you might be happy, but no one else will be. Mom's making pancakes. Just be patient. Okay, so then where is she? I'm not seeing any pancake progress. Jesus Christ, Max. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you hated Jesus. You are insufferable. Everyone, shut up! I will go get her. So how'd you sleep, Sammy? You didn't hear Rudy? No. Did he not sleep? Oh no, he was sleeping like a baby. Because he is one. But then I tried to get a cute pic of him sleeping because my followers go crazy for that stuff. But then the flash went off and then he started crying and then Sam. I couldn't get it back down for a few hours and so he was screaming a lot. Sam. What, Noah? Can you come here, please? I need your help figuring out whose snow boots are whose. What? You know which boots are yours. No, I don't. I need your help. Really mature, guys. Y you know, you think I can't tell when you're going to talk about me behind my back? What's going on, Noah? He's at the door. Who? Eric. Sour cream guy? Yes. What? How does he know where we live? Well, I told him. You can basically see our house from his house, so it wasn't some big reveal. Did he see you? I don't think so. I just saw him from the mudroom window as I was putting on my shoes. Well, what's he doing here? What happened last night? We had some drinks, we talked, it was flirty, he was charming, I tried to be witty. He was pretty forward. I said I wasn't going to sleep with him because I'm trying to be less of a slut. We kissed, we looked at the stars, we kissed again, I came home. Okay. Wow. 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 Processing. Okay. Good. Em and I were under the stars the first night we kissed. We were camping in the Tetons. Can you focus? I guess the only reason he could be here is... What? I mean, doesn't it feel forward or strange? I was with him like less than 12 hours ago. I mean, obviously he's going to propose to you, Noah. Why else would he be here? Oh my god, shut up. Noah, calm down. He probably just wants to see you. What? Now? I'm not even dressed. Who cares? Isn't the goal to be undressed with him? Mm, not like this. Well, you have to answer the door. No, I can't. Look at me. Okay, fine. I will. Wait, no, but wait. He didn't even knock yet. Shut up, Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Do not speak to her that way. Your Honor, please be quiet. Okay, 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 okay. Can you go see what he's doing out there? Ugh, fine. Well? He's shoveling snow off our steps. If you don't marry this man... 
Mom will. Also, he saw me, so now you have to answer the door. Sam! Eric! Noah! Good morning. What, uh, what, uh, what are you doing here? I mean, <laughs> sorry, good morning. <sighs> How'd you sleep, handsome? Uh, well, you, <laughs> I don't <laughs> I don't feel very handsome at this moment, but well, thank you. Uh, you? Really well. Um, cool. Hey, why are you shoveling our steps? It's a compulsion. I see snow that needs shoveling, I can't help myself. Kind of like when I meet a handsome young artist. Okay, okay, well, I'll let you know if I meet any. <laughs> I think my dance card is full at the moment. Did I, like, uh, make you up? No, no. But you did leave your hat at my house last night, which was all the pretense I needed to come by and just shovel our steps? Mm, ask when I can see you again. Whew. <laughs> oh, oh, yes, thank God you're here. Moses, take the wheel. Oh, you were supposed to be here yesterday. That's my mother, Eric, and I'm so sorry for whatever's about to happen. Listen, I have been calling and calling and calling. I don't know what the issue is, but the garage door is stuck. Mom. Not right now, Noah. Anyway, Ernie told me on Tuesday he would send someone out yesterday. Mom. Uh, Noah, I'm busy. Oh, honey, did you shuffle the steps? Oh, that's nice. So anyway, the point is, yes, you're late, but that's water under the bridge because I need the door fixed today because I have an enormous centerpiece in there that will not fit through the side door. And maybe the engine is frozen. I don't know, but can you just take a look? Mom, this is my friend. Since when are you friends with a handyman? What? No, Mom, this isn't the handyman. Oh, I can be pretty handy. Not now, Eric. Er, what, Eric? What, you two know each other? Mom, this is my friend, Eric. Not the handyman. <gasps> oh! <gasps> oh! I see. This is your friend, Eric. Oh, <laughs> oh okay. Oh, you'll have to come to Christmas, Susanica. Wait, 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 wait. Hold up. Mom, we just met the other day. Well, that's great. I'm so happy you made a friend. Disappointed the handyman still hasn't come, but happy for you, Noah. Well, I may not be a handyman by trade, but I'd like to think I know my way around a tool shed. Oh, <laughs> well, God, you're very handsome. Um, people must tell you that a lot. <sighs> okay, Mom, please. What? He is. Look how cute he is. I'm supposed to pretend I don't see it? You never introduced me to any of your friends, Noah. I was beginning to think you didn't have any. <laughs> okay, for the record, I do have friends, Eric. So, you two know each other from New York? No. Well, I mean, I live in the city, too, but we met at the store the other day. My family has a house just up the road. Oh, which one? The little old schoolhouse. Oh, I love that house. I'm so jealous of your Japanese maples. Oh, wait, so your family's all up for the holidays? My parents are actually on a cruise this year. I will never understand snowbirds. I mean, who doesn't want a white Christmas? <laughs> so you're all alone? Well, well, then you have to come to dinner tonight. Mom, that's... Noah, what? Is it a crime for me to invite your friend, a wink, wink, for dinner? No, but it's not a normal dinner. It's... Christmas Susanica. All the more reason. No one should spend Christmas Susanica alone. What's Christmas... It's Christmas Susanica. Oh. It's this weird made-up holiday we do. You really, Eric, you don't have but to... But it isn't weird. But you've been in the barn all morning building an ark full of gnomes. Don't give it away. So, you'll come, Eric? On one condition. In exchange for your hospitality, you have to let me take a look at the garage door. Oh, my God! What a mensch! Did I use it right? Yes, Mom. Eric, you really, really don't have to. I insist. Deal! My son gets a friend, and I get a repairman. Now that's Merry Christmas, Suzanne. I got to all. <laughs> I have to run something to the post office, but I can come back to look at the garage in an hour or so. Perfect. You don't want to stay for pancakes, do you? Secret family recipe. No, 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 no. Then I'd have to find something else to repair to make it an even trade. But I'll be back for that dinner. Oh, I'm counting on it. Well, I'm going to go wash up and leave you boys to it. Noah, Pancakes in 15. Lovely to meet you, Eric. I am so, so sorry. About what? She's great. Eric, you don't have to fix a door or come to our crazy dinner. I know that it's a lot. It's really not. And it's already settled. I'm doing both. There's no other way I'd rather spend the day, Noah. 
Okay. Well. I'll see you soon. Oh, and thank you for bringing my hat. Thanks for my first Christmas Sue. Christmas Susanica. And don't thank me yet. You have no idea what you just consented to.